Well guys, the series is back with brand new chicken breeds. Today we're going to be reviewing three more chicken breeds. By the way, there will be one more episode where we will review seven chicken breeds because those are the only ones left that are on my main feed. We're not going to review the random ones, but today I got a list of some of them. Some of them are the best, some of them are the worst. Let's get into it. Subject number one today is going to be the Dong Tao chicken. I'm not too sure if I reviewed them or not, but I'm going to give them an honest review. I have made one short about it, about how, like, how they're really rare. They cost thousands of dollars, but I reviewed an I Am Some Money. I think I can review these as well. They're eggs. How, what do you think they got for a score? 7 out of 25. Obviously, they do lay some eggs, contrary to popular belief. They just lay a total of 1 to 2 eggs a week, which, when it comes down to it, is really only like 60 a year. Like 52 to 75 a year on average. Their enjoyability though is 24 out of 25, so it does make up in that department. It also makes up in the reliability department. They're extremely reliable chickens. They're dual purpose, scoring 25 out of 25. Their overall though, I'm gonna give them a 19 out of 25. The overall looks at all the different aspects of these chickens and also uses an average score and many other things to help benefit the score. The final score for this chicken is 75 out of 100, which I mean, could have been way worse. I mean, they got a C, could have been way worse to be honest. Oh boy, next up we have a mouthful. I know a bit of German, I'm gonna try to pronounce this one. You, can, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong about this one. Bielefender Kenhorn. Yeah, that was a mouthful. If you want proof, it's right there. And you already saw the eggs are 23 out of 25. They lay about five to seven a week, which is around, which is in the 200s range, which is where most chickens lie. If they fall in the 200s range, they're automatically getting a score around 21 and a half or higher. Their enjoyability, they're really friendly, 24 out of 25. You'll find them being ridiculously docile. And as a matter of fact, they are very docile. Like really, the only, the, the roosters are okay. I mean, they're fine. Their reliability is a 24 to 25. They're also really reliable chickens. They don't have too many issues with them. And for the overall score, we're gonna give them a 24 to 25. All these different benefits that come with raising this chicken. Oh, hey, 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 you moron, get off. <sighs> Why, how do you get up there, man? I'm sorry, but sorry to interrupt the video, but how do you get up there? <laughs> I would want to know. I want to. I want to get those skills, man. I want to know how you jump from the ground up. That's like 10 feet. Back to the point, though. The final score is 95 out of 100. Next up, we got the third and final breed, the Highline chickens. These are crazy. In more ways than one. I want you to <laughs> guess. Just off of the first score about eggs, I'm going to give them 25 out of 25. 355 a year. I want you to take a guess as to how good or bad their score will be. I want you to take note of that score. Their enjoyability is a 25 out of 25. They're literally just ISC Browns. Really friendly. You know, they're really, really friendly actually, you know? Uh, their reliability is a 23 out of 25. The reason is because you wanna know something? Because they lay so many eggs, they'll only live for about three to five, four to six years. If you're lucky, you might get six and a half, but really because they're like really, they have like one of the greatest eggs too. I've had their eggs before, they're really nice. They're overall though, 25 out of 25 easily. So their final score is a solid 98 out of 100. I do not know if I've had a score higher or lower than that, but 98 out of 100, give or take. I really thought we we're just gonna end the video there, bro. No, no. You might have noticed that there's still more of this video left for you to watch because there is. We're reviewing one more. We have the Sebright, yeah, I'm pretty sure I pronounced it wrong, the Sebright Bantam. So they're basically Bantams, except they're a different variety. We already looked at the main Bantam, the booted Bantam, and now we have the Sebright Bantam. The regs, eh, nine out of 25, not good. They lay like 60 to 100 eggs a year, which is a massive range. They do make up for enjoyability, which does score 23 out of 25. But that's the only like really high up, like above average score we have for them. 
Their reliability is a 17 out of 25. They are known to have breeding issues, unfortunately. Their overall will be 19 out of 25. I had to, they were really good chickens, so I had to include that into the score a bit to get, otherwise they would have had a much lower score, with their final score being 68 out of 100.